Hey everyone, so last week I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, so be sure to follow me on my Instagram, especially my Instagram because I'm obsessed with Instagram, but be sure to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook to be alerted when I'm going to be doing my next q and so that you can ask me your questions if you need to ask me a question or if you have a question for me that you want me to answer. I received a lot of questions and I'm going to go ahead and answer as many as I can, the interesting ones. I didn't, you know, I talk about school in like every single video every single q and alley so I didn't want to do school questions or like boring questions like that so I'm gonna try and choose some fun questions so this might be a long video so go ahead grab yourself a cup of water or a cup of wine or a cup of tea whatever I just have a glass of lemon water in my little slut cup because I'm a slut southern lady under tremendous stress get your minds out of the gutter and I'm just having some lemon water so Let's get started. First question is, have you slash would you ever smoke weed? I have. I don't like going out drinking. I don't like partying. I don't like, you know, being under the influence of pretty much anything. I feel like there are worse things out there. So I have in the past. I think I've done it like three times total in my life. And it's not like I'm sitting there, you know, just like going to town. It's just like you take like a drag or something. But I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke regularly. It's just not my cup of tea. But, um... Just gonna be honest with you guys. What's your favorite drink at the moment? If we are talking just regular everyday drink, definitely lemon water. An alcoholic beverage would be like some sort of strawberry basil drink. I love that. What is your comfort food? Definitely pizza. I'm addicted to pizza. It's my favorite food ever. So my comfort food is definitely pizza, but I'm not the type of person who finds comfort in food. Um, that's probably why I lost like 15 pounds since June. I just, when I'm upset, I don't, want to eat I I don't know I, I just feel nauseous when I'm upset so when I'm really upset I don't really eat so I don't like find comfort in food what are some of your deal breakers when it comes to dating a guy I definitely think that being a respectful person is super important I love when guys have respect it's one of my favorite things about Mike just the fact that he's so respectful and so kind-hearted I'd have to say if you were like do if you're doing drugs every day or drinking every day i'm not into that and i think i've mentioned this in the past but i hate guys who are like show-offs like who i don't know i just like if a guy posts a lot of pictures on like instagram like popping bottles like no what are you trying to prove so i don't know like showy guys that, like are kind of like a turn off to me i don't know if it's like a deal breaker i went to a private school my entire you know schooling like high school elementary school so i was around a lot of guys who had a lot of money and i just kind of didn't like how they portrayed themselves it was like if they didn't have money like who would they be I don't like that in a person aside from YouTube is there another career you'd want to have so I'm only 20 and YouTube is my job I can't imagine myself ever not doing YouTube because I've been doing it since I was 13 years old I just turned 13 so I've been doing it forever I can't see time when I wouldn't do YouTube but I don't know if it's like gonna be like my full career. I don't know what I want my job to be. I know I don't wanna work a nine to five job. I'm not a mathematician. I don't like math, science, whatever. So I don't know what sort of job I'd have. I think I'm gonna end up owning something myself just because I'm a very independent person. When I worked at David's Tea, if you wanna see me do a whole video about my first real job, let me know. But I loved David's Tea. The company was really great to work for, but I hated like being on someone else's schedule and like under someone's rules and everything. I just like to be in control. Do you think that social media is something holding our generation back? Meaning what certain people post? Do you always compose yourself well across all medium forums? Thank you. Do you feel it's important to be professional yet stay tr true to yourself without being too crazy on social media? I have a pretty strong opinion about this. I feel like people take social media really, really seriously. And like one of my biggest pet peeves, and I know Charles grew he talked about this in a video but one of my biggest pet peeves is like Instagram themes I don't understand that like for me when I my Instagram it's like an extension of me like I post what's going on in my life I post selfies I post food personally I am just myself on social media my friends follow me my family follows me so I always want to stay true to who I am and I want to stay respectful at the same time I feel like I do have a voice and I do have a platform so that's why I will post about like the Black Lives Matter movement or Ferguson or you know Freddie Gray like I will post about things the Cecil the Lion I feel like so many YouTube YouTubers, especially the YouTubers that really who are like 25 years old and trying to cater to a 12 year old audience they're afraid to speak their mind and they're afraid to you know say you know what the police brutality or you know the deaths in the states it's just crazy so 
I would rather use my voice, maybe lose a couple followers and help maybe enlighten some people who might not have been enlightened to the situation and encourage people to think for themselves and do research and, you know, just things like that than just try and sugarcoat everything. Do you want birth control? And if not, what do you do? I have been gaining water weight and trying to find another alternative. I am on birth control. I'm on a less for those who are wondering. I did not notice any differences in weight gain or anything like that. And that was something I was definitely concerned about before I went on birth control. I'd say just, you know, find one that works for you or condoms. Any plans on moving out of your parents' house? Yes, actually, for the first time, I have been like thinking about moving out, but it wouldn't be until like next year. Nick and I have been talking about getting like our own place. We both want to, you know, save up money and everything. So, if you could kill one person and bring one person back to life, who would they be? Ooh, Sierra is asking a tough question. Um, who? I don't know. I don't think about killing people. If I could go back in time, like Hitler, uh, I don't want to say anyone's name now because like I don't hate anyone enough for them to die. Um, I could bring one person back to life and it not alter the course of like people who were born or whatever. It would be my uncle who was killed when he was five years old. How was your first kiss? Uh, I was 16 when I got my first, yeah, I was 16, it was grade 11, it was with a guy named David, and it was a peck, it was, uh, it was a peck, and then the first, like, makeout was at a party. As you guys know, I had social anxiety, um, really badly, up until, like, grade 11 when I was 16, and I went to my first high school, like, real party, it was November 18th, and it was the graduation party at Sierra's house, like, I don't know what it was. It was just like a party for the, all the all the grads and it was my first time going to like a real party and it was so funny because one of my old friends Kitty and I, it was our first, both of our own first party. I don't know what I was expecting. I think I was expecting like a rave. We were looking up like how to dance videos on YouTube. I thought there'd be like a dance floor. Um, we got dressed up. I wore like a skirt and a tank top to this party. Everyone was in leggings. I texted Sierra because Sierra and I weren't that close. We just got close like that year. I was like, Sierra, are you wearing heels to this party? Like, should I be wearing heels? And she's like, no, I'm wearing leggings. <laughs> it was fun. I drank Sour Puss and I didn't get too drunk. First drinking experience, I couldn't really tell you, but my first time, if you guys want to hear about my first time getting blackout drunk, let me know because it was my first and last time. It was a very bad experience. What five things would you want with you on a secluded island? This is a funny question because I've been obsessed with the show Naked and Afraid. I watched it at Mike's house and I watched like so many clips on YouTube. My five items would be on a secluded island. Hmm. So the five items I'd want to bring would be a pot, a machete. I'm assuming I'll have clothes because we're not on Naked and Afraid. But um, tampons, sunscreen like a book <laughs> and like Mike <laughs> because he's not an item but he's very handy so I'd want you know someone who could do things I know you've mentioned you can't wait to be a mom when you're older and neither can I do you ever imagine what your kids will be like or what you'll have first or what their names will be I imagine myself as a boy mom I don't know why but I just feel like I will be a boy mom and like all my friends say that too I do think about their names um, talk about their names uh, but I don't really know I feel like you go through phases phases with names but like last night I just decided on like the prettiest girls girls name and I'm not gonna say it because it's like oh I will give you a hint I love boys names for girls and the middle name will be Rose because I feel like Rose it just sounds so nice like in between names but I don't know I just can't wait to be a mom and like experience that so. would you move to the US for the sake of YouTube yes I would um, but I would not move to LA because that's just not my scene I would not, I could go to LA to visit but I wouldn't want to live there I could picture myself living in like Nashville or somewhere in the south So thank you guys so much for asking me questions in this Q and alley I have a lot to edit and I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any other questions down below maybe we can do a YouTube edition of Q and alley so be sure to leave your questions down below and follow me on Instagram and all my social medias to stay in the loop with me. Talk to you soon. Bye.